Pack your pomegranate, kids. We're headed to the beach. Thousands of people are gearing up for summer and sure to have plans to make their way to the beach and soak up some sun, six feet socially distanced, of course. Sunblock might be the most effective way to prevent sunburn and harm caused by UVA and UVB rays. But did you know that there are certain foods that you can actually eat as an additive protection from getting a sunburn? Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Wagner. I'm a board certified emergency medicine physician and on my show, I answer your urgent medical questions and clear up myths about certain ailments and deadly diseases. If you haven't already done so, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way you're instantly alerted when I post a new video. First, what is a sunburn? A sunburn is the skin's natural response to extreme UV violet, UV rays, and indicates severe damage. Within as little as 10 minutes of UV exposure, your skin acts as a defense against these harmful rays. You probably experience a lot of redness as the skin is fighting off these UV rays. This is the body's inflammatory response. Blood vessels are dilating and screaming, help me! The skin will start to lose moisture and hydration, which will result in feeling tight. Slowly, skin cells will start to thicken and the pigments within your skin will darken in an attempt to stop the UV rays from penetrating through the deep layers and damaging the DNA of the cells, aka a tan or a sunburn. What six foods can you eat to prevent a sunburn? Let's dive right in. Number one, red wine? No, I'm not lying. And obviously, disclaimer, you should be over the age of 21 if you live in the United States before drinking wine. Not only does it combat the sun's harmful UV rays, but it also works over time to prevent melanoma. Red wine assists in building up your antioxidant storage and is packed with a nutrient called flavonoid. In nerd terms, flavonoids prevent the skin from forming something called reactive oxygen species or ROS. According to the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry, these molecules exert a variety of harmful effects by altering key cellular functions and may result in cell death. But it should be said that if you drink too much red wine, that may come with a whole list of other complications, liver damage, dehydration, etc. So please, everything in moderation, people. Number two, a sweet potato. I have mentioned earlier that the sun dehydrates you, and when you become dehydrated, your body naturally craves sweets. Don't opt for ice cream or candy impulsively when craving something sweet. Instead, opt for a more healthy, continuous food like a sweet potato. Not only is sweet potato a sugar craving cruncher, but it is also jammed packed with beta carotene, which is useful in building a defense shield against the sun. Number three, pomegranates. Those little suckers are packed with antioxidants that protect your skin's protective lipid barrier from free radicals. A study conducted by Texas A&M reported that pomegranate seeds protect cells from being damaged or destroyed after exposure from UVA and UVB rays. Number four, strawberries. According to a study conducted by experts at the Institute of Agriculture in India, vitamin C plays a main role in fighting against free radical species that are the main cause of numerous negative skin changes. Pack a container of these bad boys in your beach bag and pop them in your mouth as you soak up the raised beach side. Number five, avocados. Avocados are potent with vitamin E, similar to vitamin C. Vitamin E is a potent antioxidant that protects your skin against free radical damage that could be caused by the sun. Not to mention, vitamin E is also a key player in anti-aging. So when you eat an avocado, not only are you potentially preventing your skin from wrinkles brought on by the UVA rays, you're also combating the effects of biological aging as well. Hey, which one's cheaper, avocados or Botox? I'm the doctor, but I'll let you be the judge on that one. And finally, number six, salmon. The chances of catching a glimpse of a wild salmon at the beach are slim to none. You might wanna consider packing these omega-3 vertebrae when planning your next trip to the beach. Notoriously known for improving the risk of heart disease, a small British study discovered that fish rich in omega-3s shielded against sunburn and any changes in the DNA that may lead to cancer. That's it for this video. Please leave me a comment below if your go-to summertime snacks have changed after watching this video. And as a reminder, these are not a replacement for sunblock. Outside of not going out in the sun, sunblock is the best way to protect your skin against the sun's harmful UVA and UVB rays. 
Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Dr. Wagner. Stay healthy, my friends.